On the final day of ACD's 36th Quadrennial Convention, President Michael Vignerone called the convention to order. I now call on Joseph and John Daggett to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We began the day with committee reports and port updates. Today, management puts in a fully automated terminal from Maine to Texas. That's the day we're going to hit the streets. And I'm going to tell you, if it goes to court and we lose it in court, that's the next day we're going to hit the streets. And if I have to go to jail, I'm going to jail. I am never going to give up this membership to automation. Never. John Nardi from the New York Shipping Association was up next, and he reminded us that keeping our ports humming is a team effort. What do we need to do? It's, you know, we need to be more productive to offset the natural market factors. We need to attract incremental cargo through ACD ports that are going to other ports. We need to have distribution centers built in the ACD, not in the south, and have it trucked up. A lot of guys are not on the pier getting paid. That's got to stop. If anybody's lazy on the pier, light a fire under their ass. That's your job. You can't be there, friends. Don't worry about getting elected. You'll get respect. We then turn to the business of electing the officers who will lead the ACD for the next four years. So it gives me great, great pleasure to nominate him as president of the ACD. Uh, there's no better person that I would want by my side than you, Michael. I told you yesterday that I love you in front of this crowd, and I do. I love your family. You're more than just uh, a colleague to me. You're really a brother, a mentor, and uh, it is my honor to second the nomination for Michael Vignerone for Atlantic Coast District President. Another teary guy, I'm getting a little teary here. This is one of the most important men in my life, the smartest man that I've ever met. The, the knowledge I learned from this guy, you, you can't read in books, and I'm gonna get choked up because I see his beautiful family everywhere, and he's like a father to me. It is my absolute honor to second the nomination that James Stelpinski is Secretary Treasurer of ACD. If, this, if it's true saying that uh, behind every good guy there's a great woman, I'm living proof. Thank you. Thank you all. So it is my pleasure and my proudest to nominate you for the ACD General Vice President. I know your leadership as you bring to the ACD, as you brought to Local 1233, it'll be served well. And I would like to say, Byrne, I love you and I appreciate everything you did for me since I came to the industry and everything you showed me. Thank you. This past year, since I left the South Atlantic, I thought I'd be crippled forever, but here I am standing tall. God bless you, God bless America, and God bless Ali. Next on the agenda, election of your ACD vice presidents. I'd like to nominate Richard Kruger, George McAvoy, my good friend Owen Boyle, Kate Albert Batten, Larry Bactel, John Day, James Kachia, David Chickles, Richie Suarez, John Cuso, Michael Izzo, Brian Witzel, Carlos Albertito Santiago, Don Josberger, my brother Harry Hennessy Jr., and Andre Joseph, Michael J. Baker. I state your name. I, Michael Baker. Do solemnly promise, Do solemnly promise. On, my honor, on my honor, that I will perform the duties of my office, faithfully and impartially, to the best of my ability, until my successor, until my successor is, duly is duly elected and installed. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. That's it. Congratulations to our officers, many thanks to our delegates, and we'll see you again in four years. Until then. Aye.